so when I started working through my sexual trauma, I'm like, okay. Because I'd go to like sexual trauma groups where I'd hear other women's stories. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I can't have sex without throwing up. Yeah. Or I haven't had sex with my husband for five years. And I'm like, man, I don't want that to be me. Yeah. Like this is a sweet spot for us. Yeah. And I don't want to wreck it. Yeah. I don't look, want to let my history wreck yeah. what's sweet and redemptive. Yeah. And, you know, I just, you and I both love the word of God. Yes, we do. You know, and First Corinthians 7 would say, you know, like, hey, sex between a husband and wife. Like, you know, people are asking the Corinthians because sex has been so messed up. Yeah, absolutely correct. Right, so yeah, 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 yeah. They're like... So is sex even good? Right, exactly. You know, <laughs> can like, you have good sex with should, one person? All right, should we just <laughs> not even go near sex right. because it's been so bad? Yeah, he's like, no, 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 no. Sex is good yeah. within a certain context. That's right. Right. That's right. And you know, God gives us marriage as a context for sex. That's right. And it's meant to be a place that's safe and committed and sweet. And so we had that, mm-hmm. and I'm like, man, I don't want to lose that. That's kind of scary. Yeah. How am I gonna? go to those dark places because Tim my places were so dark my regular reoccurring dream was that I was at the bottom of a well locked in a cage Lord have mercy that was my regular picture wow. of my childhood wow you know and I'm like and I don't know how to get out yeah and then I started feeling God started opening the cage door and I'm like I don't know if I want to get out yeah. now this now <laughs> right now now this familiar that part right yeah. Right. Out there, scary. Out there, and scary. And unknown. And unknown. I yeah. know this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. know this hell. Yeah, that's exactly right. Right. That's exactly right. So, but First Corinthians 7 says, you know, that the wife's body belongs to her husband. The that's husband's right. body belongs to the wife. Yeah. Like this is, and sex is for mutual pleasure. That's right. Mutual delight. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I don't want to lose that. Yeah. So sometimes when I was working through the worst of it and we we're making love and I'd get triggered, I we just learned like I could <laughs> tap out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm tapping out, I'm tapping out. <laughs> and um, he knew that that meant I was triggered. Yep. And all of a sudden, I wasn't making love to my husband. Mm. I was being sexually assaulted by some, you know. Yep. And so he would just hold me and pray over me. And, man, you know, for somebody who's been so sexually traumatized, to have a man like, hey, you know what, at this moment, and I'll just be, I'll be really blunt here. I'm fine with right? that. This is that. This is that part. <laughs> uh, I'm in the middle yeah. of a, a fabulous erection yeah. and enjoying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What's about to come? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Literally. <laughs> right, literally. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna stop. Yeah. I'm gonna hold my wife. And I'm gonna pray for her. Yeah. And man. That's love. That's love. That's intimacy. Totally. Yeah. And so. Like, oh, man, I'm safe with this man. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. You know, yeah. even if I'm tapping out on him. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and a lot of times then we could just resume where we left off. Yeah. Because I felt so safe. Yeah. And yeah. loved. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's how I think, you know, God loves to take the darkest parts of our stories. Yeah. And turn them into his story. Yeah. And so that's what God did. So then later on, you know, my kids are getting older. My four boys are like junior high, high school. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I I am ready for my, to start part two of my life. Yeah. And so that's when I went. Huli, can we get uh, Nancy <laughs> some <laughs> tissue? I know. I'm just crying like yeah, a baby over it's, here. No, I'm, it's. Thank you. This Thank is, you. Oh, it's so good. Um, <laughs> And you know me, I'll just cry. I mean, like <laughs> I you cry into your beard. You yeah, know? I do. I, I do. I, Everybody tries to hand me tissue at I our know. process group therapy, and I'm like, I'm I, watering my beard with I my know. tears. I'm like, I, I, right now I need a woman beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You really don't right now Thank need you. that. Thank I promise you, you don't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, so um, 
anyway, you know, God just brought so much healing into my life. Yeah. And then I believe he called me into becoming a therapist. So that's how I got into that field. 